Hi everyone, Helen Blunden here at Activate Learn on Twitter. It is time for another book review. And in the last week, I have been reading Herman Koch's new book. It's his fourth book called The Ditch. What is this book about? It is about a Dutch mayor of Amsterdam. His name is Robert Walter. He's been happily married for about 30 years with Sylvia and he has a daughter named Diana. Now, this mayor, he's actually quite popular and as I was reading the book, he's not a very likable character. Initially, I thought, oh yeah, he's a pretty good bloke, but the more and more I started reading into this, I thought, hmm, not so sure, I'm not so sure. Now, we see Robert at a function one day and he spies his wife chatting with a peer alderman, a bit too friendly for his liking. So he spies his uh, alderman peer touching the elbow of his wife and, you know, laughing and thinking to himself, that image is a bit too close for comfort. There is a story there possibly that maybe his wife is having an affair with this bloke. And so this whole book then starts him off on a whole journey of internal dialogues and thoughts, where he's trying to piece together the situations and circumstances where his wife uh, may have said something or how she composed herself and is trying to piece together a story as to why and how she could have been having an affair with this guy. Now, at no time does he actually confront the guy. So the entire story is just really him thinking about the possibilities. What if he said something to her? What if he did something that could trigger her thinking that he knows about her infidelities? And so sometimes I would get frustrated with his character and thinking, just ask her. But at the same time, while he's thinking and being so internalized and reflective about his situation, there's life happening around him that he really doesn't sit up and take notice until the these trigger some kind of action on his part. For example, his parents, his father approaches him and says that, you know, he doesn't want to live anymore. He and his wife, his parents, who were 90 plus years old, don't want to be a burden to society, don't want to be a burden to his family. And so they were, they basically told Robert that they were going to kill themselves. And so he had that to contend with. And he also had a friend who was also quite philosophical in the approach. But the, through the entire story, we, I, I must admit, I really got frustrated with this, with his character. Through this entire story, also we find another backstory about a journalist finding an image of himself many years ago of uh, hurting a police officer, and that's going to come out into the story now, or storyline as well. However, I don't want to give too much away, especially towards the ending, because anything I say now will probably just affect your, um, I guess, your perception of the book. I did find the ending, though, quite confusing. I gather that I make an assumption about what the ending meant. Throughout this whole book, though, there were snippets of, I guess, some concepts that might be important to Dutch culture. Uh, I'll give you an, one example. He's married to someone of a completely different Dutch culture, although he doesn't specifically say it. And in fact, many times through the book, he, he doesn't say where his wife is from or what that culture is about. In actual fact, I feel as if he's trying for us, the reader, to come up with that and to face the prejudices that may um, impact or may confront, I guess, the Dutch people and in fact, other Westerners about this culture. I have an indication, I have, a, I have my gut feeling as to what this culture is about. And so I think it was kind of like getting us to face those. And also there's other aspects of Dutch culture in this, everything from, uh, the, you know, the administrative, and uh, the administrative way of, I guess, and also living in Amsterdam, the the pettiness of what happens with local government, 
Um, also, uh, the things about energy and wind energy and what the Dutch might think about windmills and wind energy. So there's a lot of things happening in this book. And yet I still have a lot of questions that have come from it. It took me a week to read this, which is usually not the case for books that I like and love. And I think the reason it took me so long to read this is simply because I didn't connect with this character at all. Part of me would have wanted him to just confront Sylvia and just ask her directly, is she having an affair? So this meandering and rambling story of what if and the possibilities and then having, having all these other characters and other stories come in would not have happened. But maybe that was the intention of the author. We will never know. So that is my wrap up of The Ditch by Herman Koch. Uh, let me know if, what you think about it, if you have read this book. And uh, that's it for now. Happy reading. Bye.